Okay, third video. Now let's open Vortex 10 to check the difference to see the, the difference with Eddy. This is quite similar, it's the same but with more details. When you will click on Vortex 10 on your desktop, you will have a window with all the sponsors. Don't be surprised. You can kit and then you will have this one asking you if you want to begin a new project or a existing one. You begin a new project, okay. I will open the one which is already stored in your computer, okay. Open project, we would like to say no because I want a new one. I will open the big cat, you know, that we used in the previous video with our lions. So um, it's in C. I will show you the, the path. Vortex 10. And then in samples you have big cats, which is an example quite useful for pedagogic purposes. Okay, conversion. And then what is different? Why you are you have more um, parameters? Okay, you can recognize it's very similar to Heady. You can recognize here you have you can write different scenario and here species setting what is different here you can change what you consider as a year because a year can be a season for you depend to your model um, you can change you can precise what you consider to be an extension it can be uh, only one if one sex remains obviously normally most of the species will be doomed but you have some lizards huh, and all the species where it's okay. Or a critical size in your population size, which is doom. For example, less than five individuals for some species, it's, it's impossible to recover. Number of population you will recognize. And here you can change order of events. If you really know well your, your model, your species, you can decide to change the order of heavens. First, they will have mortality, and then the survivor will breed, etc. etc. For example, you can change a lot of output files. I won't enter too deep into that, otherwise, I will lose you. But if you need it for your PhD or later, please take a card, relax, and go. In each parameters and help yourself with the 200 pages of manuals I cannot teach you and give you examples of everything otherwise we need 10 hours of videos but we do the basics one okay but be aware there is a lot of possibility to be very precise in your model especially if you really know well each parameters okay and I will show you all the parameters that are Precise possibly into your model. Species description. You see, we can be more precise in into the uh, inbreeding depression effects. Okay, if you don't know, leave it like that. At least you will have a inbreeding effect, negative effect. State variable. You can be very precise. Okay, and write from from function about some variables here. Okay. For the exercise I will ask to you, don't go here, it's quite complicated. It's later when you will be a master into Vortex uh, management. A predictive system you recognize the same uh, as Heady, the simple version. But here you can change also the, for example, you can be precise about some species like gorilla, for example, or elephant, when a mummy will have a baby, have a baby, has a baby. Uh, the baby will stay with the mother for a few years and then this mother cannot reproduce anymore. Same for human, for example. So you can precise, I'm, I'm with elephants, for example, for two years and female cannot reproduce because the offspring will be dependent of the mother. Okay? And this function will be will track them. Okay. So productive rate. Uh, 
So you see, this is a function. In the previous video, I changed as a number. Okay, I said 50% of my females can reproduce, but it can be a function as you saw. Mortality rate, same, same. Catastrophe, same, same. Mate monopolization. Here, you can add this precision about, for example, males that are able to reproduce because sometimes in species like elephant seals, for example, you will have a lot of males but they cannot reproduce all of them. Only a, f a, f a little percentage are able to reproduce. Okay, so you can be precise here. Initial population size, no big change. If you change with a bigger size, it will change the distribution accordingly if you have a stable one. But if you know perfectly what uh, who you are you have into your population you can write it manually same thing as previously carrying capacity same same but here you can be more precise and change the carry the carrying capacity uh, based on because sometimes more individuals closer you will be to your k and less uh, survival you will have on your population for example so you can affect your, your model with that here harvesting no big change but you can use some function supplementation same you see you can implement you can you can put some new individuals but you can change their survivals because quite often when you do supplementation, when you move an individual with a stress in a new environment, maybe they, they are coming from a zoo, they are not, maybe you won't have 100% survival. Okay? So you can change that. If you know, genetics, it's a new, a new parameter. You can enter some bad alleles, especially if you start with a a little very little population sometimes you have no choice you have bad guys already victims from inbreeding effect and you can have maybe uh, bad hells okay uh, so you can precise all of that in what I will ask from you for the homework don't use genetics okay it's really when you know your population very well Okay, so you see, with Vortex 10, you have more details for your uh, models. From now, what I want, I'm waiting from you, is to do a little homework. Okay, uh, okay, I do uh, another video only about what I'm waiting from you for the video. Okay, see you.